Welcome or welcome back to Three Inquisitive Kids. In this lesson, we will be determining parallel lines with alternate interior angles and same side interior angles. This is part two of our lesson of exploring the conditions of parallel lines. So if you haven't checked out part one yet, I totally recommend you to look at that first. Anyways, here are our learning goals. Understand the concepts of alternate interior angles and same side interior angles. Identify alt alternate interior angles and same side interior angles. Use alternate interior angles and same side interior angles to determine that two straight lines are parallel. Review and think. What did you learn about parallel lines in the last lesson? We learned that there is only one line parallel to a given one that passes through an exterior point. That is one of the properties that we learned. We also learned that if two lines are parallel to a third line, then they are parallel to each other. Finally, when a transversal crosses parallel lines, corresponding angles are congruent. But is there any other way to determine parallel lines? In the last video, we learned how to determine the parallelism between two lines using corresponding angles. And in this lesson, we're going to look at two other ways to determine parallel lines. Alternate and same side interior angles. Observe the positional relationship between angles 3 and 5. This is angle 3 and this is angle 5. E, F, A, B, and C, D are straight lines. First, we see that they're on either side of the line E, F, and that they are between lines A, B, and C, D. These are the angles to look at whenever you want to spot an alternate interior angle. If we simplify it, we have a Z-like figure. Can you see another pair of alternate interior angles? That would be angles four and six. It's still in Z, it's just flipped the other way. Here's a variation. In the figures, angles one and two are alternate interior angles. And the figure characteristic is that you can find alternate interior angles in a Z-shaped figure. Observe the positional relationship between angles 4 and 5. Again, this is 4 and 5. For angles 4 and 5, we see that they are on the same side of line EF, and that they are also between A, B, and C, D. These are the qualities of same side interior angles. As you can see, it forms kind of a C or a U-shaped figure. Do you spot any other pairs of same side interior angles? Well, that would be three and six. Again, here are some variations. In the following figures, angles one and two are a pair of same side interior angles. You can find same side interior angles in U-shaped figures. Now let's do some problems. As shown, transversal DE crosses AB and CE. Eight triangles are formed. Label all the corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, and same side interior angles. I'm sorry, but here it should say angles instead of triangles. Pause the video and solve this problem on your own. All right, what did you get? Here's a solution. The corresponding angles are angles 2 and 5, 4 and 7, 1 and 8, 6 and 3. The definition of the corresponding angle we covered in our last video. Alternate interior angles are 4, 5, 1, 6, and same side interior angles are 1, 5, 4, and 6. Here's another problem. As shown, transversal AB crosses parallel lines DE and BC. So what is the relationship between angles 1 and 2, angles 1 and 3, and angles 1 and 4? Again, Pause the video and answer this question on your own first. Angles 1 and 2 are alternate interior angles, and this is using the knowledge we've just acquired. Angles 1 and 3 are same-sided interior angles, 
and angles one and four are corresponding angles. Notice, it is important to identify the parallel lines and the transversal. When you're identifying angles, you don't just say the angles, you also have to clearly state which ones are the parallel lines and which line is the transversal. The transversal is just a third line that crosses through two lines. If angle 1 is equal to angle 4, then is angles 1 and 2 angle equal? Do angle 1 and angle 3 supplement each other? Why or why not? Again, pause the video to answer. If angle 1 is equal to angle 4, then we know that angle 2 is equal to angle 4 because vertical angles are congruent. Vertical angles are another type of angle which is formed when two intersecting lines intersect and the two opposite angles that they form are always congruent. Therefore, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because we can just substitute. Both angle 1 and angle 2 is equal to a third angle, therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 2. And because angle 3 and 4 are supplementary, because they are a linear pair, then angle 4 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Also, since we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 4, we know that 4 and 3 added together is 180 degrees. Therefore, angles 1 and 3 are supplementary. Determining parallel lines with alternate and same side interior angles. Two lines are intercepted by a transversal. The interior angles of the figure are obtained. Is, as shown, if angle 3 is equal to angle 2, can you prove that A is parallel to B? And what is your solution? Now here I already wrote it out because I wanted you guys to see this as an example of how you would solve this question. First, we start with our given reason. We know that angle 1 is equal to angle 3. We also know that angle 3 is equal to angle 2 because vertical angles are congruent. Therefore, A is parallel to B because we know that alternate interior angles are congruent. So here's our conclusion. When a transversal crosses two lines, if the alternate interior angles are congruent, then the two lines are parallel. Mathematically, because angle 3 is equal to angle 2, then A is parallel to B. As shown, if angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees, can you prove that A is parallel to B? Pause the video and solve this on your own. So here's a solution. Because angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees, which is given, and that angle 1 and ang plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees, because linear pairs add up to 180 degrees, then we know that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. From this, we substitute steps 1 and 2. Therefore, A is parallel to B, because we know that corresponding angles are congruent. From this, we have the conclusion that when a transversal crosses two lines and the same sided interior angles are supplementary, then two lines are parallel. Mathematically, if angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees, then A is parallel to B. Here it should say same sided interior angles are congruent. Class summary. Characteristics of corresponding alternate interior angles and same-sided interior angles. So there's a saying in math, three lines, eight angles, because whenever three lines cross each other, eight angles are formed. And from here, we have three different types of angles. Corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, and same-side interior angles. And we learn their characteristics. Corresponding angles are often in a F-shaped figure. Alternate interior angles, a Z-shaped figure, and same side interior angles, a U or a C-shaped figure. And this is how we use different types of angles to determine parallelism. When corresponding angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. So if angle 1 is equal to angle 2, then A is parallel to B. When alternate interior angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. 
So when three is equal to when angle three is equal to angle two, then A is parallel to B. And finally, when sims when same side interior angles are supplementary, the lines are parallel. So in this case, it would be if angle two plus angle four is equal to 180 degrees. Then line A is parallel to line B. Again, today we understood the concepts of alternate interior angles and same side interior angles. We identified alternate interior angles and same sided interior angles. And finally, we were able to apply our knowledge of alternate interior angles and same side interior angles to determine that two straight lines are parallel. Thank you so much for watching through Inquisitive Kids. If you, if you would like to support this channel, please hit the subscribe button or click the or share it with your friends. Again, we really appreciate you watching our video and we'll see you next time.